But now I'm going to do the other one. And ladies and gentlemen, now for this one, this is not in standard form, right? Standard form is ax plus by equals c. So the other form that we do a lot of graphing out of that's probably going to be easier for this one is y equals mx plus b, right? It's important to know both formats because it's easier sometimes to graph out of one format or the other. But you should know how to graph from both formats. So y equals mx plus b, remember to graph from this format, you, b is your y-intercept and m is your slope. So is this in that format yet? No. So we have to at least transform it to that format. Yes? You can transform it to standard form and do the x and y-intercept. I know, but I'm just saying you could do that again if you wanted to. All right. However, ladies and gentlemen, it's e I believe it's easier to write this in mx plus b form. Right? To, get, to do this, you have to get the y by itself. So you subtract the 1 to the other side. Follow me? OK. So now, how do I graph it when it's in that form? Well, the same thing. If you want to write it as an equal sign to graph it, that's fine, but it's not going to change it. So here, and plus, ladies and gentlemen, do you kind of see how much less math it is? You could solve this one for y. If you solve this from y, you get the same graph. Sometimes it's a little bit easier to solve for y so you can graph it. So to graph in this method, the first thing you do is determine the y-intercept. The y-intercept is your b, which is at negative 1. 0, comma, negative 1. That's your y-intercept. Okay. Then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to follow our slope to the next point. So if b equals negative 1, our m equals 2. Or we can write that as 2 over 1. right? Because remember, slope is rise over run. How far you're going to go up or down compared to left or right. So when it's positive, that tells us to go up two units to the right one. Up two units to the right one. And then again, this problem, since it's greater than or equal to, that's going to tell us it's going to be not, not dash. So it's going to be solid. I can also go down two to the left one, down two to the left one. But it's going to look like that. Now, does my line go through 0, 0? No, so let's test it, right? So we're going to test 0, comma 0. So I put a 0 in for the y and a 0 for the x. Is 0 greater than or equal to negative 1? Yep, that one's true again. So we're going to shade where it's true. That means all the points above it are true. So since my test point is true, that means all of the points are true. Cool? Yes? where your test point is. If your test point's true, that's where you shade. If my test point was false, I would have shaded it on the other side of the line. Does that help? Does that answer your question? OK. So if my test point is left, right? Yeah, you can kind of say it's to the left or above the line. Yep. Any other questions on this? No? Everybody feels good? Maybe they can try to do their homework for practice.